America truly is the land of the free and the home of the brave. How about a big hand to high school marching tiger band and color guard? Once again, ladies and gentlemen, through high school and through community schools, welcome, welcome you to Bengal Memorial Stadium for this football game this evening between our Bengal Tigers and the Rochester Zebras. Officials for tonight's game are Mark Gosney, Todd Maiden, Elmer Oates III, Andrew Oates, Brody Terpstra. A big thank you, gentlemen. For I'm sure a job well done this evening. Here are the starting lineups offensively and defensively for the Bengal Tigers. First of all, offensively for the Tigers, starting at quarterback number two, Matt Ritker. Running back number five, Alex Ross. The fullback 44, Brantley Edwards. The X back is number nine, Isaac Beam. Y-back, number 88, Braxton Strong, and the Z-back, number 15, Tanner Boggs. Our linemen are 57, Aiden McNeely, 66. Stadium on the grounds of Peru High School, Randy and Valley in the pregame show, being brought to you again by Inyards Hardware for nearly 50 years. Inyards has been there to help you with all your hardware needs. Well, Val, uh, we talked Starting a little bit about uh, each team. Tigers. Obviously, it's going to come down to who can Griffin perform Hooster. the best. Weather's a little warmer. Who can who can fill, fill those shoes that need to be and adapt to what happens? Yeah, and I think who can make some some adjustments. Um, I wanted to mention Braxton Strong too because he's going to be a big factor in this game of both tight end and defensive end. Last time Zebras faced a tight end who was really involved in the opponent's passing game was Durkis from Valley, and he was a big factor in that game. And so, because uh, I mean, their wide receivers, they get involved a little bit, but it's when record when he needs a first down through the air, the first guy he's going to be looking at is Braxton Strong. He's a Division One type of athlete at 230. I mean, he won the 110 hurdles and track in the <laughs> TRC. He is he is a beast of an athlete. And so, if you're a strong side linebacker, and I assume that's uh, Fervita. Uh, you're going to have to be on him. You're going to be having your eye on him all night. That's going to do it for the pregame show being brought to you by Inyards Hardware. Time now for the starting lineups brought to you by Jennings Insurance in Argus and Rochester. Going beyond the expected for you. Well, we don't expect anything less than uh, the normal starting lineup for the Zebras. Carson Pollock will be uh, up under center. And then you're going to have Colton Fervita, uh, Brant Breck, and Alex Deming in the backfield. And then, uh, obviously, you'll see uh, Dylan Hook and Maddox Jewell who uh, will split wide out. And those guys could be a big factor tonight, too, because if you have to throw the ball, obviously that's who you're going to be throwing it to, or even Wesley Meadows out of that tight end spot. Right, and I'm curious to see 
uh, how the DBs, Smithers and Babs, uh, match up with Jewel and Hook. We'll, uh, we'll take a look at seeing how those matchups come to do here in just a little bit. But obviously then, uh, you know, we talk about special teams. Uh, you know, Parker Wallace has been kicking the ball into the end zone on kickoffs, getting touchbacks. You don't see that a lot in high school, but when you don't give them an opportunity to run the ball, that's huge. Right, right. I mean, I remember, was it four years ago here when it was Dante Majors with yeah. the return to kickoff? Yeah. I mean, they, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the Zebra special teams, their their kick coverage has been really good all year. I mean, they they uh, not just kicking the ball into the end zone, but just the coverage, whether it's Deming, uh, Fervita, I mean, Brandbeck. I mean, they get down there in a hurry, and they usually uh, keep teams inside the 25. Well, that's going to do it again for the starting lineups being brought to you by Jennings Insurance and Argus and Rochester going beyond the expected for you. As you heard, the Peru Tigers uh, are on the field. We'll wait and uh, the Zebras uh, will make their entrance to our right. Uh, and it's we'll, time for that all-important simulated yes, coin toss. Yes, both teams already know who won it, but we don't. So we'll, uh, we'll do that here in just a few minutes. We'll take a quick timeout. We'll come back with the coin toss and the kickoff. From Peru Bingle Memorial Stadium. Here are Peru High School, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. Captains for tonight's game, first of all for the Tigers, number eight, Brady Hahn, 15, Tanner Boggs, 62, Trevi Hillman Conley, and 66, Liam Captain Lancaster. are all four captains for both for teams Rochester. on the field. Peru Tigers have won the number toss. 10, They're going to defer. Five. The Zebras are going to get the ball. Number we 30, saw it last week. Ten. Val, you said that you liked it. I like it. I like it a lot. When, like you're, it when you're averaging 40 points a game, let's see if we can get a quick. Let's see if you can get a quick touchdown on the board and put some pressure on the opponent. Zebras will come out to uh, start out with the ball. So the Bengals will kick off. The Zebras will receive. Val, final thoughts here before we get going. What does the Zebras have to do tonight? to come out of here 5-0 and on top of the TRC. Tackling, tackling, tackling. Get them down. Do not miss tackles because these Peru kids are one broken tackle away from a big, big play. Big plays are going to be the key tonight as uh, we look at uh, that throughout the night. We want to thank all of our sponsors all season long. Scoreboard going to be again brought to you tonight by the Insulation Guys, your hometown certified insulation service provider. So we get ready as uh, the clock runs down on that. And we'll be ready to go for the kickoff. Back deep will be as the Zebras come out. It looks like it's going to be Parks. And Fervita and uh, Young's going to be in that backfield mix. We'll see how the Tigers decide to kick off here as we get started. Randy and Val, glad you could join us. Uh, a warmer night than mm -hmm. the normal that it has been in the last few weeks, but the, the uh, wind is pretty calm, and so we'll get ready yeah. to go. I think by the time it gets to 9 o'clock, it'll be a lot more it'll be bearable. Yeah. What, 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 what must be going through Zach Parks' mind right now? He played, yeah. in, he played in this game last yeah, year he did. for the Bengal Tigers. On the other side, yeah. yes. So back back deep is Parks and Fervita as they are side by side. And getting ready to kick off will be number 16, Landon Crow, the six-foot junior for the Peru Tigers. Randy and Val as we get ready to go here on Giant FM on RTC TV 4. Should be a good one. Here we go. The whistle blows and we're ready to go. Crow, just a little squib kick, and it's going to go out of bounds, and the Zebras will take it. It was kicked in the uh, on the side of Colton Fervita and also uh, Young in on that side as well. Uh, but Gavin smartly just let it go out of bounds, and the Zebras will start out in fairly good field position. So the Zebra offense on the field, and the 
See what the Tiger defense has for them as they bring it out. The ball set at the 35-yard line of the Zebras for their first play of the game. You know, last week the Zebras, they they were concerned that Lewis Cass would be packed in the middle, so they ran a bunch of sweeps early, and that kind of loosened up the middle, and then that set up Deming later on. Let's see how they go here. So it'll be Pollock up under center. Everybody's in tight. Hook, the tight end, in as tight as well. Harrington at center. The handoff is to Deming. Deming goes around the left side. He's going to pick up two. It'll be second down and eight. As uh, nice to see Heron back in uh, in there at center. And uh, that was Zyger at left tackle. Okay. X is in there. X is in there. We'll see. But he's not playing left tackle. We'll see where they set him up for sure at. As Pollock will bring the play in from the sideline. Plenty of time on the play clock. Down to 20. They break the huddle at 18. Now Zyger's at right tackle. Set up under center. Pollock checks to the sideline. Now he'll get a call from Coach Schaefer. Pl plenty of time. Five on the play clock. The audible. They put Fervent in motion. He gets the ball. It comes to the near side. Crosses the 40. They're going to be down around the 44. Good seven. audible that time uh, by the Zebra quarterback in Carson Pollock as he looked, didn't like what he saw, whatever the play was going to be. And that will be third down at about two now for the Zebras. Yeah, he, he looked to Coach Schaefer. Yeah. Coach Schaefer made kind of a signal. Yeah, give him a hand signal yeah. of what the audible would be. And it was kind of one of those toss plays where yeah. Paula yep. kind of helps out with the blocking. So they bring up to the line, third and two now for the Zebras. 10.40 to go in the opening quarter, first possession of the contest. Pollock. Gives it off to Deming. Deming around the left side. Deming is going to be about a yard short. It's going to bring up fourth and a one now for the Zebras. What's Coach Schaefer going to decide to do as we're just shy of midfield early in the contest? This is a big, uh, big call offensively and possibly a big stand for the Tigers on defense. It's Coach Schaefer's habit to go for it on fourth and one just about anywhere on the field. It is. That was kind of a real a strong side left, yeah. kind of a... Tried to outnumber Peru. Good job by them to Again, hang at the line eight. and keep Deming going east and west. That 3-3 three, three stack really putting people in the box. They're moving around on the defense. Now here's Pollock up under center. Pollock gives it to Deming. Deming's going to be bet in the backfield, and they're going to lose yards and turn it over on downs. In on the tackle was Tanner Boggs. And they'll lose a yard on that and also a turnover on downs for the Peru Tigers will start into Zebra territory at the 43-yard line. Trevi Hillman Conley got in there quickly. As well as number five, Alex Ross. So the Zebra defense now on the field, and the Tigers will come out under the quarterback, Matthew Redker, the 6'2 senior. 16 touchdowns on the season, eight running, eight throwing for Redker. Again, Ball on the far hash for the Tigers as they start in the 43 of the Zebras. Rutger out of the shotgun. Rutger hands it off, comes to the near side. Appeared to be, is that? That was Boggs. Boggs, I thought yeah. so, yeah. That's a Boggs. Boggs will Boggs. pick up. A yard. That was kind of interesting what Boggs did. He kind of yeah. looked like he was just kind of wandering yeah, around just before the snap and yeah. then walking towards him. Boggs will come out and in will be Smithers. But it was almost to create this like phone booth right. kind of. Yeah. So uh, it's second. They give him two. So second and eight now. 9.20 to go here in the opening quarter. The shotgun handoff is to Smithers. Smithers around the snare side. Smithers breaks a tackle and he's into uh, deep into Zebra territories. They're going to mark him down at about the 23 yard Number line, and that's a first down for the Tigers. For the Tigers. All the way down to the Zebra 24 yard line. So first, first and, and 10, 10 now Tigers. for the Tigers. Rucker quickly to the line. Gain of 17. Out Gavin of the shotgun. Again, the handoff this time to Ross. Ross around the left side. He's going to dive forward five, down to the 20. Ross. Just shy of the 20, they're going to mark him uh, just outside the 20. A pickup of four, so second down and six now for the Tigers. They're in that hurry up. They better get into Ross. Ross is pushed down the line. He'll go fall forward, pick up a couple, and he'll be down in the 19-yard line now. They're inside the red zone. Nice job by Ferbida. Yeah. 
the Tigers pretty quick offense. No wonder they ran at 81 snaps last week. There is Rutger again out of the shotgun. He keeps it himself this time. He goes to the right side, cuts it back up, follows the hole, and he's going to be down near the 10-yard line, and that's going to be another first down for the Tigers. Let's see if they mark him. Uh, where they mark it, it should be first. Could be first and goal. And uh, should be you. Yep, they do give it first and goal first for the Tigers. Tigers. Number 10, Branley Edwards is listed as a running back, but he's more like an H back. Yeah. Uh, almost even maybe like a tight end. He's kind of like a pulling guard. He, Rutger just ran behind him on that play. Rutger keeps it again, runs behind Ross this time around the right side, still on his feet. He's on top of the pile, and he's going to be down about the six. So it'll be second and goal. Actually, they're getting forward progress, and they're going to mark it at the five. So second and five. Tigers knocking on the goal line. Boggs will come back in, and coming out will be Beam for the Tigers. Trevi Hillman Conley is in, is in it as a lineman. I think he's going to play. Actually, almost Coach like a the right tackle. Offensive coordinator. He calls it, hands it off to Ross. Ross around the right Everybody side. Ross the is into the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown. So with 7:22, the Tigers score first. Five, Alex Ross on the five-yard carry. Six points per row. Ross with the five-yard touchdown run. Puts the Tigers up 6-0, and they'll go for the extra point here. And Crow will be the kicker. Crow going for the PAT. They did the swinging gate yeah. just to, in case you're not... PAT, oh, here's the snap, right. the kick is up, and it is good. And, and so uh, the Tigers take the first lead of the seven. night, 7-0 seven with 7.22 seven to go here in the opening quarter. Back with more after this, Giant FM and RTC TV 4. Peru uh, High School, the Three Tigers eight, score. The Rochester Ford scoring drive, Val. Seven plays, 43 yards, took 229 on. 2.29 off the clock. Alex Ross with a five-yard touchdown run. Landon Crow with the PAT. And Peru leads Rochester 7-0 with 7.22 to go in the first quarter. And here is the kickoff. This time they're going to try a squib kick again. And it looks like we're going to have a penalty flag. That time uh, Joe Estrada was the kicker. And going to be a procedure call against Peru. Peru does not want to give a chance to Parks or Frovidother. Both times have come to the near side. And first time went out of bounds. That time was a procedure call. Peru certainly has depth at the kicker position. Yeah. It comes down to penalty kicks. I think they've got uh, two or three, and the third one I, I believe is out, uh, out. So they have two, two kickers. So they'll try it again. This time they'll mark it back to the 35-yard line. And Estrada will try it again. We'll see what they opt to do with it here this time. Tigers lead 7-0, 7 7-22 here in the opening quarter. Now the whistle blows, and Estrada. Again, right at Gavin Young. Young picks it up. Young will go forward, still on his feet, and he'll get it across the 45. Going to be brought down about the 46. So the Zebras, pretty Rochester, good field position to a start. And we'll see what the Zebras can answer after the touchdown by the Tigers. Trailing 7-0. Here in the first quarter on the Insulation Guys scoreboard. Gavin Young put two hands around the ball. He made absolutely sure he held on to a nice return. McConaughey leads 7-0 on a uh, Fuddy Kyle touchdown. McConaughey taking on Cass. Here's the Zebras right back up the middle. And Deming will be marked down at the 50, a four-yard pickup. Be second and six now for the Zebras. Quick hit right up the middle there for Alex Demi. Gain of four, second and six. So second down and about six now. Thank you. Thank you. Pollock up under center. Pollock 
We'll give it to Deming. He pulls it out of his belly, gives it to Fervin. A Fervin around the right side, crosses the 40, down to the 35. Finally going to be brought down at the 35. A nice run by Fervin, and that's enough for a Steve Moore insurance first down. Second man through. Yeah, Rutger with the tackle, but he was well into the secondary by the time that happened. So now the Zebras into the Tiger territory. Pollock running this play in from the sideline with 20 seconds to go on the play clock. Now they send Dylan Hook wide right or wide left to the top. Pollock up under center to Deming. Deming bounces off. Then Deming's going to be met right back at the original line of scrimmage. And uh, Trevi there to make the stop. Yeah, that was a, that was a real good play by Trevi because. They tried to, I mean, they yeah. tried to push up the middle. They just, yeah. the Prue pushed back. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Well, it's the one thing you know, when you also have that 3 3 stack, and, and then you have Ross kind of uh, plugging that middle even more. Uh, and Zebra's going to have to look, try to open up the outside a little more before they can go back in the middle. Hook again to the top. Pollock up under center. Pollock looking to hook. Gets it out in the flat to him, and it's going to be caught. And it's going to be about a three-yard pickup, but Hook was met right away. They do give him a three-yard pickup, so it'll be third down and seven. So Pollock out to Hook. I think that was Smithers with the tackle. Smithers with, he didn't give him much room at all to catch that ball. A nice job by Dylan to stay focused. Five minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Peru still leads seven nothing on the insulation guy scoreboard. I think this is four down territory where you're now on the field right now. Now you're definitely in four down territory. Third and seven. Pollock up under center, sends Beck in motion. Gives it to Deming. Deming's going to be met again by Trevi Hillman Conley in the backfield, and he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. And it's going to be fourth and seven now for the Zebras. First Tiger tackler on the play. Got help from 62, Trevi Hillman Conley. Yeah, that was Trevi was yeah. there, and I think Boggs okay. was there as well. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're getting multiple seven. guys to the ball, and they're... Tiger 32. So the Zebras on fourth and seven. We'll go for it as Polly gets the call from the sidelines. So they'll run it in. Nine down on the play clock. Polly up under center. Two tight ends. Fervita goes in motion. And now Coach Schaefer wants a timeout with one on the play clock. The Zebras Rockets. will take a timeout as they trail with 4.01 to go here. Right now the middle is not working for the Zebras. Yeah, I'm not sure if Coach Schaefer was looking to see how Peru lined up and then maybe decided to call a timeout at that point. Um, it was interesting. They didn't have any wide receivers. Yeah. They had two tight ends. They had Wee End in at tight end, and they had Meadows in at tight end. And they had the two wingbacks in there as well. Now Dylan Hook is in the game. Hook comes to the near side. The ball's on the far hash. Beck goes in motion. They fake the pitch to him. Now Carson Pollock in trouble, and he's trying to scramble out, and he goes to throw it, but he's going to have to tuck it. The ball comes loose. But they're going to call it in incomplete play, but there is a penalty marker laying at about the 39-yard line. We'll wait and see what that's all about as – Pollock was scrambling for his life. And the officials will congregate. And they drop the flag at the 38 yard line. So now we'll see what that's going to be. I'm going to guess it's going to be a personal foul targeting against the Zebras or head to head. Side block. Blindside block, blind side block okay, against the Zebras, so that penalty is declined. And it'll be a turnover on downs as the ball is sitting at the 40-yard line. So the Tigers now with a football. First and 10 from their own to 40. 3.51 to go here in the opening quarter. 7-0. Tigers lead it. Wrecker back out on the field with Ross beside him. Second possession now for the Peru Tigers. Rector out of the shotgun. 
He'll keep it. He'll run behind Ross. Now he'll look to throw. Sets up, launches it long, and it's going to be incomplete. The intended receiver was Isaac Beam. It touches his fingers, but unfortunately Beam could not reel it in. That was a big-time throw by yeah. Matt Rutger. I mean, there was a guy right in his face, and he was running to his left and throwing with his right. That, there are not many <laughs> quarterbacks who can get the ball out that far. That was big throw. 3.43 as the clock stops on the incomplete pass. It'll be second and 10 now. Ball sitting on the 40 of the Tigers. Redker again out of the shotgun. He's got Ross beside him. He gives it to Ross. Ross will be hit right at the 40, and uh, it'll be third and 10 now. X. X with help from Peyton Young. Yep. Yep. Zebra defense. Really, uh, hopefully making those adjustments after that first possession of the Tigers. Now third and 10 for the Tigers, still from their own of 40. You can see they're trying to outnumber you at the point of attack on just about every play. So now they bring a man to this near side, and that is Beam again. Bring in an extra receiver and take out a tight end. Out of the shotgun. They record rolls to this near side. He throws it. It's out to Beam, going to be complete. His initial hit is short of the first down, but it looks like on second effort, he gets the first down right at midfield. And they're going to give it to him. The official will walk up and make sure, and yep, they do. So it is a first down for the Tigers. Clock continues to roll under three to go here in the opening quarter. The initial hit was about the 48, but Beam will get a great second effort and kept his feet going, and he was able to get that first down. So it's first and 10, ball right at midfield. Yeah, another real nice throw by Rutger. Tight end goes to the far. Rutger keeps it this time. Rutger is going to be hit at the 50. He's going to be brought back down, and they're going to give him forward gain back to Peyton the 50. Young. Wow, that was a nice play and by Young. Young was in there quickly the that time. No gain, second and 10. For the Tigers. So it'll be second and 10 again. You had them where you wanted them back there at third and 10, and unfortunately he gave up a 10-yard pass. You need to get the Tigers off the field as quick as you can if you're the Zebra defense. Rucker again out of the shotgun. This time he comes to the near side. That's going to be Smithers. Smithers will get back to the original line of scrimmage. Maybe a half-yard loss. It'll be second down and 10. Fervida. Yeah. Very good play by Colton Fervida. And then he got help from Deming and Brant back. So another third and 10 for the Tigers. Again, you're expecting a throw. They did it last time at third and 10. Actually, they lose one, so it is third and 11. Minute 35 to go here in the first. Double handoff. It goes to Ross. Now back to 15, and that's Boggs. And Boggs goes back to the 50, and it'll be fourth and 10 now. See what McCow Coach Mikowski decides to do here. Kind of a double handoff. And looks like the Tigers are going to punt it away as Rutger drops back to punt. And so uh, Hook will be the deep man. Fervita will be the short. Yeah, punt, punt makes all the sense in the yeah. world here, the way your defense is playing. There's the punt, Rutger fakes it. Rutger will go around the right side. Rutger's gonna be stopped, and as he stretches out, I think he's gonna be about a half a yard short. That looked like a read play. Wow. I don't know if that, that was close. Turnover on downs, Matt Rutger with a huge run that short. time. They call it, they give him nine and a half. He needed 10. So a turnover on downs. The Zebras have it back with 51 seconds to go here in the first quarter. That was almost a big play. And you talk about in special teams, that would have been huge. Yeah, I don't know if that's something that Coach Mikowski calls or that's just something where yeah. they tell Matt Rutger, hey. When you got your quarterback, the punter. Yeah, you got good legs, you got yeah. good wheels if you see something. So now here's Pollock up under center. Pollock fakes the handoff to Dim, gives it to Beck. Beck around the left side, bre breaks some tackles. Beck still on his feet, still going. <laughs> Finally will be pushed out of bounds at the Peru Tiger 30 as he drug number nine beam and number 11 Smithers with him for about 15 yards. He does that once a game, doesn't yes, he? Yes, at least. At least once a game. He is amazing. He did that against Lewis Cass last week. 20, 29 yards in the last 
15 to yard line. 15 yards where you're just dragging people. First down brought to you by Steve Moore Insurance. Zebras with a big play there. And now they're down into Peru territory at the 30 yard line with 41.8 seconds to go. Pollock up under center. Beck goes in motion, they give him the ball again. Back around the left side, cuts it back up the middle. And this time he's gonna be brought down near the 25. And it'll be second down and five. Clock continues to roll. Will they get a playoff before the end of the quarter? As they don't have to, as the play clock is at 30 and the game clock's at 27 or 23. We'll see what the Zebras do here. Brady, Brady Beck and Xavier Vance created a pretty big hole there. Coach Schaefer says, come on to the sideline. We're gonna head to the second quarter. Trailing 7-0 on the Zebras to the Peru Tigers on the Insulation Guys scoreboard. Back with more after this. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Bingo Memorial Stadium, right in Val as we, in the first quarter, the Zebras trailing 7-0 on the five-yard touchdown run by uh, Ross at the 722 mark of the first quarter. Zebras have it now, second down and six from the Tiger 26 yard line. Val, your assessment of the first quarter. Um, took a while for Brand Beck to get the ball. He wound up with two carries for 33 yards, but the, bottom, the main story in this game is Peru's held on Alex Deming. Six carries for six yards. Yeah. One yard a carry is not gonna do it, and they have done a great job. Uh, Zebras trying some different things here. That second man through is maybe a way to, yeah. to get the linebackers to cool their jets a little bit. Here is the Zebras, second and six. They pitch back to Fervita. Fervita juggles the ball, gives Peru defense some time, but luckily Fervita gets back as that pitch was behind Fervita. He had to go back and get it, no gain, and it'll be third and six now. Uh, beam, beam with the tackle, but that, uh, Fervita, he was just lucky to catch the, catch the ball. Yeah. And they only lose, what, a yard? And now it's third and seven. 11.26 to go here in the first half. Zebras trail seven to nothing on the insulation guys scoreboard. Third down, Pollock sends back in motion. They give it to Deming and Deming gets one yard maybe. And it looks like it goes to the 25. And now it's gonna bring up fourth down and about five. Yard, yeah, they're not five, giving Alex Deming Zebra. anything up the middle. The right, and they didn't uh, jump at the jet line. motion. The, no. um, through defense being pretty disciplined right now. Again, you, you, it's either attempt a 42-yard field goal or go for it, and I think, uh, I think going for it is a higher percentage play. We end in at right tight end. Here's Pollock. Pollock hands it off to Beck. Beck around the left side, cuts one middle. He's got one man to beat. Finally going to be tackled down by Matt Rutger, but not before he can get in deep into the territory. And Zebra's now in the red zone, being brought to you by Farm Credit Mid America, securing the future of rural communities and agriculture. Beck with a big run there, gets another Steve Moore insurance first down. Gain of 17. First and goal now for the Zebras from the eight. Three carries for 50 yards for Brand Beck already. Well, that's one one thing about it. It's Nick's man up. Somebody not able right. to do something. You got to look for somebody else. Brand Beck right now, the man right now. Pollock up under center. Pollock tries Deming again. Deming around the left side. He's met at that line of scrimmage. And I don't think, yeah, they might give him to the six, it looks like. So a couple yard pickup. It'll be a second down and goal. Brady Hahn, number five, Alex yeah, Ross. Brady Hahn was there, but it was a host of Peru players were there. Yeah. Trevi running to that Trevi second side there. The Tigers, Trevi's seven. not going to give you any leeway. Right. Second and goal now. It's interesting that the Zebras are not going with many, not using the wide receiver very often. They're, yeah. they're rather going with two tight ends and two wingbacks, kind of a tighter formations in this game. Here it is. The handoff to Beck, the second man through. Beck. Spins out of a move, and he's going to be finally brought down near the five. And it's going to bring up third. And they are going to mark him back at the six. So third and goal from the six now for the Zebras. Excuse me, six-yard line. Third and goal. 
Zebras have a third. Yeah. Series, you got 29, then you got four, and then you got 17. Yeah. So um, how will they try to get Brent back more touches in the second half? Because it seems like he can hide behind his blockers yeah. a little. 11, 11, Dylan Hook, and 60. Quickly to the line again. Hopefully the Zebras can stay focused this time as Rutger will look to the sideline, fourth and two. Alex Ross always falls forward. You yeah. notice that? And they're going to run it. The yeah. clock is, play clock is just down to 18. Ross and Rutger back up. They're going to try to get it. And the Tigers now will take a timeout Tigers, as the Zebras Tigers. played discipline that time and did not fall for the quick snap or the uh, hard count. And the Tigers will have to talk about what they want to do here with three and a half to go before halftime, leading seven to three and a fourth and two situation. Randy and Val from uh, Peru High School, glad you could join us as uh, some other games around the area. Tonight, it's McConaughey on North Miami, Manchester at Southwood, Wabash at Northfield, and Whitco at Cass tonight. So uh, some uh, some interesting games uh, in the uh, conference. Right, I mean, McConaughey, they're, they're kind of keeping their eye on this yeah. game. Mm -hmm. uh, they, if you're... You're kind. Of, you're hope, obviously if you're a McConaughey fan, you're hoping that somebody can get Peru. Right. So you're probably if you're a McConaughey fan, you're probably rooting for the Zebras in this one. Obviously, M McConaughey and Southwood both three and one in the conference. Peru Rochester at four and zero. Oh, so it'll be interesting as see Triton what Triton thirteen to eight over Peru. Okay. Did I mention North White six to nothing over Caston? That's a, North White is 5-0. and oh. Yes, they are. Like, the starting to get things mm -hmm. going. Averaging 46 points a game in Monon. Looks like they're going to go for it. Will the Tigers at fourth and two. Rutger out of the shotgun. Ross stands beside him. Call for the ball. Rutger will keep it. He'll just go forward, and momentum will get him the first down. As he gets you down to the 36-yard line, he only needed the 37. So a first, first down. Tigers. For the Tigers, and that was all just pure guts and go because uh, out of that shotgun, Rutgers was able to get some speed going, and he just basically ran right with his line. Yeah, it's so interesting to see. I mean, they're a running-oriented team out of the shotgun. Yeah. So Rutgers again out of the shotgun, 3.15 to go. Calls for the ball. They send a man in motion, and Smithers gets it. Smithers goes around the left side, stretching it out. Smithers. Gets across the 35, going to be brought down about the 33, and that'll be a two-yard pickup. I think Peru got away with a holding penalty there. <laughs> Somebody was, had a hold of Alex Deming's jersey. So they give him three. It'll be second and seven. At the Zebra 33. 2.45 and counting before halftime. Record from the far hash. The shotgun. Holds it, pulls it back out of Ross's belly. Now looking to throw, scrambling, goes to his left. Still looking. Now he just heaves it out of bounds. And nobody in the area. And the penalty flag comes from the side judge. Good contained by the Zebra defense. And fervent to lay a lick on Rutger. We'll see as what the near side judge threw it. Are they going to call block below the, the knees? Sure looked like that indication. Chop block against the Tigers. So they'll move it backwards. And the clock stops at two and a half. And they'll march it back from the 37 yard line. So they'll move it back. It's 15, isn't it? Is it not? It must be 10. Because he got stopped at the 43. No, okay. Second and 17 then. Penalty moves the ball back to the Zebra. Two and a half to go before halftime. Still second down. Second and 17 second like Val said. 17. Zebra defense looking to get a big stop here. Yeah. As Coach Mikowski making a change, going to bring in, switch out a tight ends as he brings in 15. And that's Tanner Boggs. I like Coach Mikowski's hat. Yeah. You can't miss him on the sideline in that hat. A record with the keep. He comes to the nearest side. Going to be slowed up by Meadows. He breaks it. But there to bring him down is Parks and Beck. And he will pick up a yard or two. They're going to give him two. So it'll be third and 15 now for the Tigers. 
Yes, you can definitely pick out Coach on the sideline with his uh, Australian-looking hat. Yeah. <laughs> good day, mate. Uh, yeah, but that was a good play by Meadows, and he got help from Beck and Brant Beck and Parks. Play clock is down to 13. Play clock or game clock down to a minute 50. It's interesting how Coach Mikowski signals the play, and they all basically yeah. line up facing and him. And now they're now going to call a timeout, call a timeout his second Tigers, of the Tigers. night with a minute 40 to go here before halftime. 7-3 to three on the Insulation Guys scoreboard. Well, Val, coming up at halftime, we're going to talk about uh, the week in sports and uh, really a little, little bit more little. about how you were talking about the play call coming in. They're all in a straight line right back from the football, Val, as uh, they all stand in a straight line looking over Third at the, the coach for the uh, play call. 41. And they get it in. And now with 18, they come lining to the set out of the shotgun. Rutger. Hands it off. Now here it goes to throw. They throw it back to Ross or to Redker, and it's going to be overthrown as that pass was thrown by number 15, Tanner Boggs, as he goes back across to Matt Rutker, and that brings up fourth and 15. And now another expected punt, but we thought that last time. Good discipline by the Zebras on defense that time. Maddox Jewell was in, he, he went one of them to cover yeah. Rutger. Yeah. And he did a nice job. That pass was not open. And to be honest, uh, Boggs might have been better off just putting it in his pocket and taking a loss. But that was a, uh, turned out well for the Zebras. So Rutger back to punt. He's standing at his own 48. It's a high snap. This time he will punt it. He'll in edge it for the sideline. It takes a high bounce. And it'll take a Tiger roll inside the 10. Going to be... Touchdown at about the seven yard line. So the Zebras will have it with a minute 22 to go from their own eight yard line, trailing seven to three here in the second quarter. So we'll see what the Zebras opt to do here. Val is a trail uh, for just the second time here as we get closer to halftime. We'll see what they choose to do here with a minute 22 left. And so now here's Pollock up under center. Again, everybody's in tight. The tight ends are in. And the handoff comes around to the right side, and that appears to be Fervita. Fervita still on the move, crosses the 20. And Fervita finally going to be brought down at about the 22-yard line seven, and another Fervita. Steve Moore insurance first down. Finally nice run down by Colton Fervita. 21-yard line. So another first down. Clock rolls with a minute 10. Pollock will hustle in the play from the sideline. Zebras First down to 60 Zebras. seconds before halftime. Zebras still with one timeout left, yeah. and Coach Schaefer's got to think about how he decides to use it or when he decides to use it. Pollock will send back in motion. Goes right back up the middle. Here is Deming. Deming breaks free up the middle. Going to be near 30. the 35-yard line, and that's another Steve Moore insurance first down. And you finally see a couple of those outside plays. Now it's starting to open up a little bit for Deming, yeah. and Deming with a big run there. Right, the line's starting to loosen up a little bit. for the First and 10, clock rolls with 40 seconds to go. Zebras just shy of the 40 at the 39 of their own. First and 10. Pollock up under center, 30 seconds to go before halftime. Pollock to Beck, to Fervent on the uh, end around on the reverse, and they get back to the 36, and the clock continues to go with 20 seconds to go. Pollock goes to the sidelines and Coach Schaefer, and I'm not sure they're going to get another playoff. Pollock and Coach Schaefer just talking on the sideline down to 10, and the Zebras are going to go in halftime. Trailing 7-3. to three. That's going to do it for the first half here from Bingle Memorial Stadium. When we come back, it's the winning hedge halftime show. Zebras trail 7-3 to three to the Tigers here at halftime. John FM and RTC TV 4.
The band's next selection is one of the most iconic openings in recent rock history and one of the most recognizable starting lyrics. Uh, Bengal Memorial Stadium as the Zebras trail 7-3, to three, uh, scoring uh, looks like this for the first half. 7.22 to go in the first quarter. It was Matt Ross on a five-yard run uh, for the Tigers, and they, the PAT was good, and they lead 7 to nothing. Zebras finally get on the board at 8.13, mark of the second quarter with a 27-yard field goal by Parker Wallace, and that's where we stand at halftime on the Insulation Guys scoreboard, 7 to three Tigers. Val, you've got some other stats for us here in the first half. Uh, Brand Beck leads Rochester in rushing, four carries for 51 yards. Alex Deming, eight carries, but just 20 yards, less than three yards a carry for Alex. Uh, Colton Fervida has one second here. I have Colton off to a really good start on the ground. He has three carries for 35 yards. And uh, yeah, that's basically been, and. Uh, Dylan Hook with one reception for three yards. It also and uh, for Peru, Redker, eight carries for 29 right. yards. Smithers, three carries for 19 yards. Ross, five carries for 13 yards and a touchdown. And it yeah. really all comes down to uh, uh, Zebras going forward in that first, that fourth and one, just shy of midfield. Tigers were able to take care of, uh, take advantage of the Zebras not getting the first down. Not very often the Zebras have yeah. been stopped on fourth and one in no. the last yeah. three years. And then on the other side, the Zebras get a score on the stop uh, on defense by the Zebras on the uh, fake punt by Matt Rutger, who got nine and a half yards, needed ten. Yeah. Uh, and the Zebras were able to push it down and get a field goal. And boy, Brant Beck, his first three carries, he got 29, then he got four, and then he got 17. Yeah. So um, how will they try to get Brant Beck – more touches in the second half because it seems like he can hide behind his blockers yeah. a little bit, a little, and he's a little shorter. He, he's a little hide. he's a little shiftier. Yeah, and and Ferb too. I mean, he's running the ball really. This you know he hasn't had a great rushing season really, but he's running the ball really well tonight. And they've been able to carve open some holes for him as well. So uh, curious to see how that continues and what adjustments they make to try and get more holes. But obviously, this opening possession of the second half yeah. is big. A completed pass. The thing is, is that the couple that when Rochester dropped yeah. back to pass, Peru's been right in Carson Pollock's face. They have been. So the Zebras will kick off. Parker Wallace will kick it off as we get ready to start the third quarter here. Going back deep for the Tigers will be Isaiah Corba and also number 11, okay, Zach Smither. As we get Tigers, ready to go as Parker Wallace sets the ball. And my uh, very unofficial stats, the total yards was 99-96 Peru. Ooh, okay, very close. Passing Thinking yards was 10-3 to three Peru, so it's been... <laughs> Hence why it's 7-3. to three. And first downs was 6-5, to five, I think. Pretty even. Yeah. Here goes Parker Wallace to the kick. End over end kick. Going to be taken uh, over by Corba. Corba has it. He'll bring it back to the near side. Now he'll cut back to the middle, and he's going to be stopped inside the 20. And that's where the Tigers, the Tigers will start deep in their own territory at about the are they going to give him the 18, 19 yard line? It's like the 19 yard line. 18 yard line. Good coverage by the Zebras there. Corba, he, he fumbled it. Yeah. And then he, you know, a lot of times you see the team, the, the, the coverage team, to yeah. overrun it. And sometimes right. the guy who fumbles it will turn the corner. He was not able to do that. In fact, he tried to cut back, and then there was no cutback lane either. So good coverage by the Zebras. There, there was a whole host of Zebras there. First and 10 from the 19 for the Tigers as we start the second half as. Rector will be again out of the shotgun. Ross is next to him. Gardner in at that, like a nose tackle position. Rector calling for the ball. Here's the snap. Hands it off to Ross. Ross cuts it back up the middle. He breaks one tackle. Still on his feet. Number and he's finally going to be brought down Tiger near the 28-yard line. Takes the ball out to the Tiger. And it's going to be a... Eight yard, nine yard pickup. It'll be second and one now for the Tigers. Just shy of the Tiger 28 yard line. Second nine, and short second now. Yard. As Rutger will bring him back to the line. Get out of the shotgun. Ross stands next to him. Now they put a man in motion. They give it to Ross. Ross comes to the near side. He's got a hole. Ross is down the sideline. Ross at midfield. Ross at the 40, the 30. Finally going to be tackled, and he is going to go into the end zone, but we do have some flags. I believe we're going to have blocking the back against the Tigers. That probably will come back. I'm guessing that's coming back. 
Number five, Alex Rose I thought maybe he got out of bounds, fire. but it didn't look Takes like they the did. There is a penalty flag. There was a good kickout block the there. And Dylan Hook got. And it is against the Tigers. It comes back. Dylan Hook was in position, then he got knocked yeah. to the sideline, and he was out of the play. So that was a good blocking by Peru. And that penalty is going to be uh, marked off from the 11. Tigers will still have it in pretty good field position. They're going to mark it back at the 21-yard line. And Ross really got to that outside. He had a hole. They kind of faked the handoff to uh, Boggs. So here's the Tigers now first and 10. 21-yard line of the Rochester Zebras is Rutger with Ross next to him. They fake it. Rutger keeps it. Goes behind Ross, and he's going to be inside the 20, down near the 17-yard line, inside the red zone for the Tigers now. Opening possession of the second half. Second down and about six now for the Tigers. 10.45 and counting here in the third quarter. Still seven to three. Looked like a zone, like a zone read there by Rutger. Ross is to the right of Rutger. Now it goes direct to Rutger again. He comes around this near side. Going to be down inside the 15, down the about the 14 yard, yard line. line. So, so give him three four more. So Tigers. it'll be third down and about three to go. Clock continues to roll. 10, 15, and counting. That's, this is interesting football to watch because yeah. he's taking a sh it's almost like kind of like a wildcat except it's not <laughs> a running back. It's a quarterback who's taking it. But Ross now goes to the left side. Just of trying Rutger. to outnumber you at the point of attack. Yeah. Rutger audibles as he looks to go to the sideline. He'll call out the audible with 10 on the play clock. Rutger calls for the ball. Rutger keeps it this time. Again, goes right back Keeper up the middle. Rutger. And he's going to be short of the first down. It's going to bring up about fourth down and one now for the Tigers. Fourth and a yard for the Tigers. 9.35 and counting. I'm going to guess that Rutgers is going to keep this one. He's going to just going to run right up the middle. What he did last time. And he does give it to Ross. Ross lunges 20 forward inside the 10 down near the five. And I guess uh, he thought that's probably what everybody else was thinking, so he handed off to Ross that time. And Alex Ross with a big run there gets another first down for the Tigers. Now down inside the five and around the four. You have to respect both they're guys. They're going to mark it at the five. Yeah. Okay. They do mark it at the five, first and goal for the Tigers. Zebra defense needs a big stop here at the goal line. From the five, snap to Rutger, around the right side, he stretches it out, tries to go back in, and he's going nowhere. Rector thought about trying to stretch it out there, but then smartly uh, pulled it back in as the <laughs> Colton Fervita, West Meadows, ran back all there, and could have just knocked that right out of his hands. So he goes back to the original line of scrimmage. It'll be second and goal from the five. Just inside the five-yard line. Good job by the Zebras to string that play to the sideline and not let him turn the corner. Rutger and Ross in the backfield. Ross to the left of Rutger. Out of the shotgun. Ross gets it. Ross tries to go around the right side. He falls forward, and they're going to mark him down at the one-yard line. Third and goal from the one now for the Tigers. Well, you know it's going to be Ross or Rutger mm -hmm. as they quickly head back to the line. Rutger keeps it this time, dives over the top. Keeper by the Touchdown, the Rutger Touchdown. for a one-yard run. So at the 7.57 mark, Six points for Rutger dives over the top for the one-yard touchdown run. And the point after a coming for the Tigers. So the Zebra is down 10 now, 13 to three, pending the PAT by the Tigers. Hayden Oldacre to attempt the extra point for the Tigers. Hayden Oldacre, the PAT this time. 
The ball is up and it is good. And the kick is good. PAT good. And so now the Thanks Tigers the lead 14 to 3 to the Zebras as the they'll Zebras have the ball for the first time here to start the third quarter. When we come back, you're listening to Zebra Football, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. And I can't get it stopped now. Jeez. Landon Crow kicking off for the Tigers. As the Tigers now will get ready to uh, kick off to the Zebras. Five, six, seven, and the 7.57 mark of the third quarter, the Zebras will get it for the first time in the second half. So let's see, back deep again is Parks and Fervita for the Zebras. Here's the kickoff. This one is going to go to Fervita on the far sideline. Fervita has it. Fervita is going to be tackled at about the 30. Let's see where they mark him as he dives forward. Returned by Colton Fervita. They mark the ball down at the. We go back. Looks Locked like they're going to mark it down at the 39 yard line. So that's where the Zebras will. You know, really, field position has yep. not been bad no. for the Zebras. I mean, Peru started that last drive on their own 18. Yep. They'll take that. Uh, of course, the big play was, obviously, the, the touchdown was yeah. called back, but they still gained 52 yards on that play. Ross, uh, a much bigger factor already in the second half than he was in the first. And uh, Beck goes in penalty motion. Flag. Penalty flag coming against the Zebras. All start, Rochester. And so they'll go back five yards. It'll be first and 15. That'll make it first and 15 for the so Zebras. So the ball will go back. Ball now at their own 34-yard line. To the 34. As in on that possession was Colin, Colin Wien. He'll come back out. Winnemac leads Culver 26 to 14. Okay. It, was, it was 26 to nothing, but Culver is making Coming a little back. bit of a comeback. Both teams looking for their first win of the season. Yep. Northwide leads Caston 6 to nothing at halftime now. Dylan Hook to the near side. Back goes in motion again after the penalty. Right up the middle here is Deming. Deming finally Carry getting some 30, yards. Deming. After being hit at the line of scrimmage, big run that time for Alex, and it looks like they're going to mark him down at about the 42-yard line. It'll be second down and about seven now for the Zebras. That was big. I mean, that's you didn't. I mean, second and seven isn't great, but that's beats second and 12 or something like yeah. that. Clock rolls with 7:20 to go seven. here in the third quarter. 14 to three on the insulation guys scoreboard. Fervita goes in motion. Pollock back to throw. He's got time this time. He goes deep to Beck, and it's going to be. Incomplete. Broken up by the Beck was the intended receiver. Matthew Andrew Retker, Retker was the defender. The able to coverage. tip it. Incomplete. Third down now for the And Zebras. you go uh, a 5 6 Beck against a 6 2 Retker. Yeah, and Retker is one of the best basketball yeah. players in the conference <laughs> as well, and if you're not familiar. So the Zebras have it now third and about third eight. And seven. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, he's not afraid to leap up and. No. Uh, There's the handoff. It comes to Beck. Beck to the near side. Beck cuts back across the 50. Beck still on his feet. Finally going to be brought down near the 45. And actually, forward progress. They're going to give it to him to about the 42, 43 yard line. It's a Steve Moore insurance first down. What a great run by Brant Beck. I always love it, Randy, when you say. Brand Beck finally about to be brought down, and then the play goes on for like yeah, another five yeah, or six another, seconds. Another five minutes, yeah. <laughs> Took three or four of uh, the Tigers to bring him down. A gain of 15 on that play for Brant. Beck gets the pitch again in the backfield, comes to the near side. Hit at the 40, still on his feet, breaks the tackle, still across the 35, chopping Jerry his feet. Back. Now going to be down near the 32. I think he got the first down. And he did. Give him 10. And it's another Steve Moore insurance And you know who first laid down. a really good block on that play? Carson Pollock. He did. He really right did. back at the 40. Yeah. Nine, Isaac Beam and 13, Lucas so the Zebras with back to back first That's downs. First down for Rochester at and Tigers. Trevi comes Trevi out for defensively, and they bring in Liam Lancaster for the Tigers in the front line. Six and a half to go here in the third, 14 to three. Zebras moving the ball now in the Peru territory to 32. Six carries, 77 yards for Brant Beck. First and 10. Pollock up under center. Fervita goes in motion. 
Fakes the handoff, goes to throw. It's out in the flat to Beck. He catches it. Beck turns up the field and finally going to be knocked out of bounds near the 25-yard line. They're going to mark it inside the 25, so given to the 24. So it'll be second and about three. Second and three for the Zebras. Out of bounds, the clock stops at 6.13 to go on the Insulation Guys scoreboard. Randy and Val, glad you could join us tonight. 14 to three, Tigers lead, Zebras with their first possession of the second half. We end in there again at tight end. Here comes Beck in motion. They go to Deming, Deming up the middle. Deming's got room this time and he gets inside the red zone and gets the first down for Steve Moore Insurance. First and, and the zebras Rochester. inside the 20, securing the future for rural communities and agriculture. That's Farm Credit Minute America, your red zone sponsor. Ball sitting right at the 15-yard line of the Tigers. Deming, first and 10. Deming had six yards on his first six carries, 31 yards on his last four carries. Here's Pollock, pitches it to Fervita. Fervita around the right side, cuts it back up the middle. Going to be down Number around seven, the 10. And it looks like we got a penalty marker. There is a penalty flag on the play. And what's coming from the far side judge, we'll see kind of in the area, maybe a block or a hold. We'll see what the right side of that line caved in. That was a really good chop block against the Tigers. Or a, yeah, Stop or a, 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 low, a low, low hit or something. Yeah, yeah. So that will, should give the Zebras an automatic first down as they mark it from the 10, and they'll put it at the five. Well, it's going to be first and goal for the Zebras. Five yard line. So they gain first five on the run, and then a, another five on the penalty. Right. Half the distance to the goal line. So the Zebras first to go at the five with 5.40 to go here in the third. Trailing 14 to three. And here comes Pollock bringing him out of the huddle with 25 on the play clock. Pollock up under center. Pollock, the pitch to Beck. Beck hit in the backfield and this time he's gonna lose a yard. 22 Grant Beck, the Zebra ball carrier. So it'll be a first and goal from the six. Ross with the tackle for Good play Peru. By Ross. Actually, they're going to lose two on that one. Ball's back to the seven. So first and goal. Second and goal now for the Tiger or for the Tiger seven for the Zebras. Under five to go in the third. Pollock up under center. Back goes in motion. They go to Deming. Deming goes up the middle. Deming's going to be inside the five, going to be down around the four. So it'll be third down and four now for the or third down and goal from the four. Would Coach Schaefer consider a field goal on this possession? If you get kicked field goal, you'd be down by eight. It would be a one possession one game. One possession game. You're still in the third quarter. You got to think about it. Right now, you, you don't want to go this far and not put points on the board. Right now, if you get down to the one or the yeah. two, I'm, I'm going to change things. Pollock, the handoff to Demi. Nope, that's second man through, and that's touchdown. touchdown. Fervida, second oh, man yeah. through. Yeah. They faked it to Demi. Everybody, seven, including Fervita me, on bought on Demi, and Fervida got the touchdown, touchdown run on the uh, was that four yard run? Yep. So the four-yard run by Colton Fervita. I would expect the Zebras to go for two here. If they get two, it makes it 14-11. They would get, they, then they tie it with a field goal. So the Zebras will go for two as Pollock on the field. So after a defensive struggle in the first half, both teams scoring their first possession and in the second half. we got a whistle on the field. And Okay, now they restart the clock. 25-second clock starts. Pollock up under center. Fervita goes in motion. Rolls to his right as Pollock. He's got a man open. It's going to be knocked down. Two Incom point attempt is no good. Two point oh, conversion. Point no good. So with 4.06 to go here in the third four, quarter, the Tigers, it's four, still the Tigers. 14. The Zebras now. Nine. 61 yards. It took three minutes and 51 seconds off the clock. Colton Fervita with a four yard touchdown run. Two point conversion pass failed. And Peru leads Rochester 14 9 with 4.06 to go in the third quarter. 
So the Zebras back on the field. Parker Wallace ready to kick. And back deep will be Corba and Smithers. Wallace ready to kick for the Zebras. The Odell Lumber kick. Your, locally, your only locally owned building supplier. It's Odell Lumber, proud supporter of Zebra Athletics. Colton Fervita celebrating his 18th birthday with that yeah. touchdown. So there we go. Happy birthday to Colton. Now we can just get the win for him. Here's the kickoff taken inside the 10 by Corba. Corba has it on the far sidelines. And he's going to bring it back to about the 27, 28 yard line. We'll see where they spot it. I think that was Wesley Meadows who yeah. was there to uh, out of bounds at the wish him a happy weekend. 28 yard line. <laughs> so just under four to go here in the third quarter. Again, 14 to nine or score. From their own 28. So they do mark it down at the 28 yard line. And that's where the Tigers will start with 3.59 to go here in the third. You have just this feeling that it's going to come down to a turnover. We have not had a turnover yet in this game. We've had a turnover on downs, but we have not mm -hmm. had an interception or a fumble yet in this game. We've had a couple turnover on downs. So the Tigers will walk it out, and they have 10 on the play clock left. They're going to have to hurry as they just come set now. Ross, Nick, Stu, Redker out of the shotgun again. And he goes to Ross. Ross around that right side, and he's Everybody going Tigers, nowhere. Ross. Right now, everything going right for the Tigers. They, they, they find something on that zebra line they want, are trying to exploit. And Dylan Hook stuck his nose right in that pile, 11, and he got Dylan help from uh, Gardner. The yeah. They're running away from X, no but they're Dimming. running Second into and Dimming and Hook. <laughs> Right, and that's kind of what the zebra now defense Dimming and Hook switch sides. That's what the zebra defense has been about. Pick your poison. The whole yeah. defensive line has been playing well. Now they go to Ross. Ross up the middle. Ross kicks it outside, and Very he'll get to five, the 35 yard line. Takes it out just shy of the Tigers. That'll be third down and three and now. Just as we say that, Peru blocked that play really well. They did. I mean, they got a big surge over left guard. Third and three and now. Three the clock the rolls with just three minutes to go here in the third. Just get a sense that this is a big play in this game. Again, the defense switching sides. And here is, and I was going to say, that Dylan looked like uh, too many men in motion. That is a big <laughs> penalty now. That takes you out of what you thought maybe you were going to do is Tanner Boggs, Ross, and Redker all, all really took off at the same time, and the ball wasn't snapped yet. For the Tigers. So they'll move it back five, and now it's... It's the second big penalty for yep. Peru in this quarter. They overcame the first one uh, that wiped a touchdown off the board and wound up scoring a touchdown in the drive anyway. Back to third and eight. Ball sitting at the 30-yard line of the Tigers. Ross to the left of Rutger. Ross fakes it. Here's Rutger over the top, and he's got a wide open man, and that is Boggs. Boggs right down the middle. He's going to the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Nobody picked up Boggs. Boggs was wide open. I think I could have thrown him a touchdown pass on that one. He was yeah. so wide open. Yeah, that was easy. Once he caught it, it was it was a touchdown. Seventy-one yard pass. Uh, se uh, Seventy-one. Yeah. Six points for Seventy-one yard pass. Rutger to Boggs. And the Tigers answer back after the Zebra score with one of their own. Out of a real tight formation. Yeah. And they slipped Boggs to midfield, and there were, yeah. There was nobody. There was a blown coverage. Uh, there was no doubt about that. To the PAT coming up. And the PAT is on the way, and it is good. And with that, it's now Tigers 21, the Zebras 9 on the insulation guys scoreboard. And we come back after this, Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Three plays, 72 yards. It took one minute and 36 seconds off the clock. I had uh, Tanner Boggs with a 70-yard touchdown pass from 
Uh, Matthew Recker, extra point was good by Landon Crow and Peru leads Rochester 21 to nine with 2.30 to go in the third quarter. Rainy and Val here at Peru High School as Parks and Furbida back deep now for the Zebras on this Odell Lumber kickoff. After the Tiger touchdown, they lead 21-9 on the Insulation Guy scoreboard. And we're waiting on the whistle. And here is the whistle, and now we're ready to kick. And it's a, and again, a penalty flag on the kickoff. As they try and just to kind of, they're really just pooch kicking it, trying to catch the Zebras off guard. And unfortunately, Five-yard penalty. Five-yard penalty. Tigers mm -hmm. offside. They'll so they'll move it back. The so now they'll move it back to the 35. Coach Mikowski not very happy with his kickoff team as he's giving instructions. North Caston and Northwide are tied 6-6 with four minutes to go in the third quarter. Wow. Tippecanoe New Valley leads Jimtown 21 to nothing. Triton leads Pioneer 20 to eight. Pioneer was up eight to nothing. So now there's the second kickoff. Squib kick takes a bounce and takes another high bounce. Colton Fervita picks it up in just about the 32 yard line and he'll bring it back Return by seven, to the 37 30 yard line, 38 yard line. 10 yard return. Yep, they give him down to about the 38. So 21 to nine, Zebra's trail here with 224 to go here in the third quarter three, on the Insulation Guys scoreboard. So the Zebras try to answer right back. Pollock up under center. Pollock hands it off to Deming around the right side. Deming will pick up a couple. He'll get on the other side of the 40. They're going to mark him down at about the 41 yard line. So two yard pickup. Second down and eight now for the Zebras. Two minutes to go here in the third. Pollock comes out from the sidelines with 20 to go on the play clock. Randy Wynn, Powell with you from Peru High School. Here's Pollock again up under center. Pollock, second man through to Fervita. Fervita around the right side. Fervita across 45. Going to be brought down to near the 46. Still going to be third and manageable now for the Zebras. Just on the other side. Same zebra play basically as the touchdown play right. earlier in this quarter. Third down, third and four. They got to get to the 30, or the, excuse me, got to get to the 49 yard line. That ball's just across the 45. Six carries for 48 yards and a touchdown for Ferbida so far. Minute 15 to go here in the third. Pollock up under center. Beck goes in motion. They go to Deming. Deming breaks one across the 50, 45, 40. Down, finally get him. Nope, that's, uh, they do not get him down, and he's still on his feet. Finally going to be brought down into Tiger Peru Tiger yeah. territory at about by, the 25-yard line. Good hustle by Alex Ross. In fact, that might have been a touchdown yeah. saving First tackle by Alex Ross. The Tiger, I, they're going to give him to the 24, so another Steve Moore insurance first down. Clock rolls with under a minute to go here in the third. 31 yards on that carry. Biggest of the night for Deming. Pollock up under center. Peck goes in motion again. They go to Deming again. Deming this time is going to be met at the line, but he's going to pick up about a yard as he battles for that hard yard. 32 seconds to go in the third. Coach Schaefer talking to Pollock on the sideline. Will they run a play? Nine. Looks like they're going to try to get up another playoff before the end of the third. Down to At 20. Winnemac leads Culver 32-14 to 14 at halftime. Somebody's going to get their first win yeah. tonight in that game over at Radebush. Pollock up under center with 10. Pollock will hand it off. Second man through his back this time. Beck cuts it back up the middle. Beck still on his feet. Finally going to be brought down at about the 15-yard line. And when we come back to start the fourth quarter, it's going to be third and short for the Zebras as they trail 21-9 to on the Insulation Guys scoreboard. You're listening to Zebra Football, Giant FM Sports, and RTC TV4. Memorial Stadium in Peru High School. 
So we start the fourth quarter, Zebras trail 21 to nine, and they have the ball third and about two from the 16 yard line. Have I got any other scoring updates for the night? Uh, not at this time. Okay, all right. So we'll have third and two for the Zebras. Trailing 21 to nine. Brant Beck, eight carries for 82 yards. Deming, 14 for 77. And Fervita, six for 48 and a touchdown. If I just told you those three stats, yeah. that those would be the stats after the third quarter, you'd say maybe the Zebras would be looking good. Yeah. But and, and no turnovers, really. But again, Peru has just made every big play when they needed to. Right. Pollock up under center. Fervita back and Deming in the backfield. Fervita gets the carry around the right side. Fervita lowers his head. He's going to be inside the 10, still on his feet. Going to be down near the 5, and here comes a flag thrown in by the side Carried judge with authority. <laughs> he just whipped that thing in there. We'll see what this is all about. Takes it down to the As we're going to have a warning, sideline warning on the Peru Tigers. I'm not sure what. I don't. Not sure. He, I called guess. It, he pointed to Rochester. I, why would he? Why would the guy standing yeah. on Peru's sideline call a sideline warning on Rochester? Oh, now they're marking something off. I think there's, there's a. No, that was a sideline warning call that he did. I have no idea what that is. Nope. That's yeah. usually a sideline warning. Rochester. And this guy threw the flag. Now Coach Schaefer is asking that side judge what was the call so he can get it defined. Yeah, okay, now they're going to mark it back. <laughs> I was going to say, they. I'm not sure. Still, they took it back to the 12. 13 yard line, then give the Zebras the first down. No clue. Usually that's a sideline warning indication that he gave. But they marked it back. So the ball's at the 13 yard line of the Zebras. They've got it first and 10. No idea. Pollock up under center. Pollock keeps it, broken play. Pollock lunges forward and he'll get back to the 10. The ball's down. They're gonna say the ball was down. Down on contact. So it'll be down at about the 11 yard line. Second and seven for the Zebras. Clock continues to roll, 11.25 to go here in the contest. Zebras trail 21 to nine. Pollock turned around and expected somebody to be there and somebody wasn't there. No, there was nobody, absolutely nobody. Did a good job of picking up a couple yards. Pollock up under center. Pitches it to Fervita. Fervita cuts it back up the middle. Fervita down near the five. And the side judge says he's got the six. So they're going to give him four. Still third and about four to go for the Zebras as the clock continues to roll. Terry by Colt Fervit on the play brought down at the Tiger. 21 seven. to nine. Tigers lead here at Peru High School. Don't forget, four. coming up tomorrow morning, Coach's Corner here on Giant Rochester FM. We'll seven. talk to North Miami, Cast and Culver, Rochester, and Winnemac coaches. Colin Wien has seen more time on offense tonight than in his entire career, I think. Beck gets the call. Beck around the left side. Beck down near the goal line, and they're going to mark him short at about the two-yard line, but he does get a first down. A Steve Moore Insurance first down. So now... Zebras have four tries to get it into the end zone. From the three. Yeah. And that was uh, a five foot six inch running back following Xavier Vance, who is yeah. six foot a lot, six four. Six foot a lot. <laughs> so here is first and goal from the three for the Zebras. Exactly 10 minutes remaining in the game. Ball's fumbled, and I believe Deming fell on it as Pollock goes to throw it, and he gets tripped up, and it was a wild throw, but Fervita was able to fall on it. So a loss of four. 
So it'll be uh, second and goal now from the seven. Second and goal, Zebras at the Tiger seven. Right, I mean, Pollock, he's trying to get out of the block, and yeah. sometimes he, he, he flings it at him, and it was a, it's not an easy catch. 9.20 and counting here in the fourth. Pollock up under center. Pollock to Deming. Deming still on his feet. Deming into the end zone, touchdown. That was a great play call by Coach Schaefer. Ross was blitzing in from the other side, <laughs> and that was, was a good read, and he was blitzing in, and there was nobody in the backfield to blitz at, because and then Deming had gotten by him. Deming with his first touchdown of the night. Seven yard run, makes it 21-15, and as Zebras will go for two here. Pollock will bring him up under center. The two point conversion. Pollock to Deming, the second man through his back and the two point conversion is not gonna uh, be good. And so the Zebras trail 15 to 20, 21, 15 to the Tigers with 9.13 to go here in the contest. You're listening to Zebra Football, Giant FM and RTC TV. Just trailing by six. So they need a big defensive stop here. If they can stop the Tigers, the Tigers answered their last Zebra last touchdown with a touchdown of their own. So the defense is going to have some work cut out for them. How you got the scoring drive? 11 plays, 62 yards. It took five minutes and 17 seconds off the clock. Alex Deming with a seven yard touchdown run, two point conversion run failed. Peru leads Rochester 21 to 15 with 9.13 to go in the game. Only one person back. Peru kind of expected an onside kick here by Parker Wallace. And Wallace waiting on the whistle. Here it is. Wallace will kick it deep over the head of Matt Retker, and it'll go into the end zone, a touchback for... I was surprised by that. Peru was almost expecting an onside kick. Yeah. Or a squib. Yeah, something. And if you're the Zebras with 9.13 to go on the clock, you'll, you'll take a touchback. Yeah, definitely. Definitely take a touchback as you uh, now put a little, uh, try to get some excitement, some mojo going on the defensive side here to try to get a stop. Trailing just by six, try to get the ball back. 9.13 to go, 21-15. You know, we said all week long this was going to be a dandy, and it hasn't let us down. We'll see now as it comes down to the final nine minutes of action. And it may come down to all nine minutes and 13 seconds. Yeah. You never know. So Rucker will bring the Peru Tigers out on the field, leading 21-15 on the Insulation Guys scoreboard. Ross will come to his left this time. Rutger out of the shotgun. And here is Rutger with the keeper. Rutger sneaks through. Oh, Rutger right down oh. the middle. Rutger has got one man to beat. Parks is trying to catch him. Jules trying to catch him. The diving catch. Nope. Touchdown, Z uh, Tigers. 80 yard touchdown, touchdown run Tigers. for Matt Rutger. Rutger had eight touchdown runs on the season coming into tonight. He has number nine, and he's thrown for number nine as well. Boy, somebody sealed off the, the left side of the Rochester defensive line, and he was gone. Parks and Jewell tried to catch him, but could not. Rutger answers right back after the Zebra score. Now they'll go for the PAT. Here's the kick. It is up and it is good. The PAT is good. Old Acre. No with the extra point and so with that, the Tigers that back to a 13 Tigers point lead, 28 15, with exactly nine minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Second half. Uh, one team scores, the other team answers. It's just been back and forth, and the Zebras still try to find themselves down. 28-15, that scoring drive, I can do that one. One play, 80 yards, 13 seconds. Yep, that's, that's <laughs> exactly the, what happened. And Matt Rutger takes that one all the way. And that was, a, they've, played, they've ran that play a couple different times as they have 
uh, Ross and Boggs kind of in the backfield, and they that kind of that we talked about it. It's like, almost like a twist, like or a kind twist of, or, or a cross. Or a, yeah. And that time it, he faked it. It's their version of a cross. Right. He uh, faked it to the Boggs, and Recker tucked it, and he was off to the races. So this Zebra team that allowed six points total in their last three games has allowed for the Tigers. Three, uh, 150 yards on Peru's last two offensive snaps. Squib kick. Young will take it, and he'll be down at the 35-yard line. So that's where the Zebras will take over at the... 34-yard line, first and 10, with 8.59 to go here in the fourth quarter, trailing 28-15. First and 10 Zebras from their own 34. So we'll see what the Zebras can answer back with. Pollock up under center. Let's see if they blitz during this possession because the Zebras are starting to read the blitz. Zebras looking to pass. Pollock rolling to his right. He's going to be in trouble and they sack him. And it's for a loss. And I believe was that strong? That strong all the way from this, this far near side tackled him on the far sideline. Zebras lose two so it'll be second and 12. Pollock from the sideline, in with the play. 18 on the play clock, 8.20 to go here in the game. Pollock up under center. Beck goes in motion, Deming gets the ball. Deming up the middle, Deming breaks free. Deming across the 40, finally gonna be brought down, but there's a ball on the, ball's loose, and they're gonna say Zebras recover, I believe. Beck comes up with it. Yeah, Brady, Brady Beck. Yeah. And the Zebras end up with a first down out of it. <laughs> Recovered by the Zebras. So first down for the Zebras, a Steve Moore insurance first down. first down. As Beck first covers it up at the 46 yard line. yard line. Eight minutes to go. Pollock up under center. Come on, Tigers. 98 yards rushing on, for, Demick, for Deming. They go Reverse. to the double handoff to Beck. Beck breaks it up the middle. Back to the sideline, reverses direction, and Rutger gonna bring him down from behind. Rutger with a game-saving touchdown. Tiger tackler was number two, Matthew And it gets down to the 23-yard line for Brent Beck, and a great run that time on the double handoff. Gain of 31, and boy, Brant, once he took the handoff, he shot yeah, through that he hole. Did. So the Zebras will have it on another Steve Moore insurance first down from the Tiger 23. 7.44 in the contest. Pollock up under center. Pollock to Beck again. Beck this time going to be hit for a loss as he's going to be Everybody back to the 25. Grant Beck. Ball's going to be set at the 25, so they'll lose two. So it'll be second down and 12. Strong again in on the tackle for the Tigers. Yeah, they did a prudent defending that second man through play as well as I've seen any yeah. team do it on that play. They they totally cut the play toward the left yeah. sideline and then put a whole gang of guys there. Brant had nowhere to go. Brant with 12 carries for 114 yards. 7.05 in the contest. Pollock up under center. Pollock around the right side. That is Deming. Belly. On the uh, belly play, Val's favorite. And he goes inside the 20, inside the red zone. Red zone being brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America. And now it's second and about six for the Zebras. I have third and five. Okay. All right, I'll give you third down. Yep. I went off the scoreboard and they hadn't changed it yet. Third and five for the Zebras. Clock rolls at six and a half to go in the contest. Ball goes up the middle to Beck. Beck still on his feet, lowers his head, and Beck with another Steve Moore insurance first down, gonna be brought down inside the five, down near the two. Tiger two yard line. Brent Beck is a man eating out there right now. He is just lowering his head and chewing up ground. Smithers was taken for a ride there. Yeah. He made the tackle. But another 16 for our Brent Beck. So it's first and goal from the two. Pollock up under center. Here comes the blitz. Deming around the right side. Touchdown. Carried by Deming. Deming. 
Rochester. Gets a two yard run. 6-0-2. Again, it's just back and forth. Nobody can stop the other team. I think you take the extra point here. Well, let's see what Coach Schaefer has in mind. And Coach Schaefer says we're going to go for two. Okay. As Carson Pollock getting the call from the sideline. Deming's second touchdown run of the quarter. So the Zebras will come up to the line. 6-0-2. Touchdown is good. They're going for two. Again, it's a, it's a percentage play. It goes on the double handoff. Beck Beck tries to cut it back up, and oh, Beck is carry. in there for the two-point conversion. Two point conversion. With that, so that now. one is now Tigers 28. Tigers 28, Zebras 23. 23. With 6.02 to go here in the fourth quarter. You're listening to Zebra Football, Giant FM Sports, and RTC TV4. Now well, that scoring drive for the Zebras. Seven plays, 66 yards. It took 258 off the clock. Alex Deming with a two-yard touchdown run. Brant Beck with a two-point conversion run. Peru still leads Rochester 28-23 with 6.02 to go in the game. So we, since we have started, started the third quarter, it's been... Rutger with a one-yard touchdown run. Fervita with a four-yard touchdown run. Rutger to Boggs on a 70-yard touchdown pass all in the third quarter. Now here in this fourth quarter, it's been Deming on a seven-yard run, Rutger on an 80-yard run, and Deming on a two-yard run. More scoring here in this second half. And here is a sideline kick, and it'll go out of bounds. And Goes out of bounds at about the 20, so the Tigers will get it at the 35-yard line. Yeah, that's not – again, the Zebras have been covering kicks well. You, yeah, I'd, you'd I'd like put to take that your in the end zone, take and, the touchback. Yeah, yeah, or, I mean, or, receive, or at least at the very least, see if you can keep them from getting to the 35. Yeah. So we'll come out. Tigers ball from their own 35-yard line. First and 10 Tigers. So the Tigers will have it. First and 10, 6.02 to go here in this contest. 28-23, Tigers lead on the insulation guys scoreboard as the Tigers come out on the field after the Zebra touchdown. Randy Wynn, bow with you. Here from Peru High School, it's been a dandy. And we're not done yet, we still got six minutes of action. And Zebra's playing like a five-man front and they moved Dylan Hook way down to the line of scrimmage. Here's Ross with the football. Ross comes to the near side. Ross pursuing to the sideline, still on his feet. Finally going to be brought down at about the 40. About a five-yard pickup. It'll be second and five now for the Tigers. Clock continues to roll. With 5.40 to go. 11, Dylan Hook gets off the bottom of that pile for the Zebras. Obviously, Tiger's going to try to eat up as much clock as they can here. Dylan Hook is there. I mean, Dylan's really playing close yeah. to the line of scrimmage and run support. Rutger taking his time, bringing the squad up. Ross to his left. Rutger out of the shotgun. Play clock down to six. Snaps the ball with five. They give it to Ross. Ross around the right side, lowers his head, and he's going to be close to the first down, and I believe he's got it, and he does. First down, Tigers. First and ten, Tigers. That play was well blocked by yeah. Peru. First and ten now from the Tiger, 45. Baker and Ream on the right side. That, they did a very good job there creating the hole. Under five to go. 28-23, Tigers on top on the insulation guys scoreboard. Play clock down to 15. Rutger managing the squad at the uh, huddle, taking his time. He'll bring him set now with seven. Rutger calls for the ball at three, gives it to Ross. Ross will come to this near sideline and he'll go nowhere this time. It'll bring up second and 10 and the Zebras will call their first time out of the second half. They'll stop the clock. With 4.34 to go here in the ball game. And Zebras trying now to. North White leads cast in 14 to 6, end of the third quarter. Okay. And that's a North White team that averages 46 per game. They've held been held to 14 through 3. It's a battle there. Yeah. 
Again, Culver and Winnemac also battling out that somebody will get their first win of the season uh, at Winnemac. Right, and of course, we're waiting for the big game in the Hoosier North tonight with Knox at LaVille. Both of those teams are undefeated Ooh. in conference, and they're, they're the last two undefeated teams in that conference. So after the timeout, here's Rutger out of the shotgun. Ross is to his left. Rutger calls for the ball. Goes to Ross again. Ross has a hole. He cuts it back up into zebra territory. He's going to be short of the first down, but it will be a third and very short for the Tigers. And it's going to be about two as they move it back to the zebra 47. So third down and two. Zebras need a big stop here. So Coach Schaefer does not use a timeout here. Got to get a stop. Jewel with a nice open field tackle there. Rutger just kind of walking around out there, letting the play clock run down. It's down to 10. We're down to 3.55 on the game clock. Now Rutger will come set out of the shotgun. Ross to his left. Hands it to Ross. Ross around the left side. Like Ross the will side have a first here. down. Takes it down to the Rochester. It's another 44. Tiger first down as first they get across the 45, here. down to the 44. And once again, just managing that clock right now is Matt Rutger, the quarterback. Coming to the sideline is Tanner Boggs, kind of holding his shoulder elbow area. Now we stop the clock on the official timeout. Not sure why, but now we'll wind the clock with 3.30. Ross has been just terrific for them in the second half. Play clock down to 17. Both he and Recker are now over 100 yards rushing. Talk about Deming and Brand Beck being over 100. Yeah. Those two are over 100 also. Again, play clock down to five. Now Recker calls for the football. Again to Ross. Ross around the left side. He's hit and going he's nowhere. In fact, he loses here. a yard on that one as he's back to the 45. And now Coach Schaefer will stop Tackle the clock and use his second timeout. Brady, Stops the clock timeout. at 3 2 Second and 11. The and this is where we were last time. But you've seen the big play by Matt Ross, or uh, excuse me, uh, by Alex Ross to get that first down. The Zebras are going to have to buckle down and, and get this stop if they want to get the ball back. They're down 28-23, trailing by five with 3.02 to go here in this fourth quarter. Zebras have one timeout left. Peru has all their timeouts remaining. Ball sitting at the Zebra 45-yard line. 28-23, our score on the Insulation Guys scoreboard. Coach Schaefer talking to his defense, trying to get a stop. Well, how do you stop Ross and Rutger? I mean, that's yeah. been a problem all night. You mentioned just a few minutes ago, both of them over 100 yards rushing. They just have Tigers that. They just have that downhill and speed, and it's tough to Rochester tough to get. So after the timeout, here's the Tigers out of the shotgun. Ross to the left of Rutger this time. Zebras, a five-man front. Here's the same play as a touchdown. This one time it goes to Ross. Ross goes around the right side. And the Zebras will burn their last time out and Alex stop the Ross clock at 2.56. And it's third and long timeout for the Tigers. And it looks like uh, Tanner Boggs is going to come back Tigers. in. He's checking out All okay, and he'll come back in. Coach uh, Mikowski and Matt Rutger both meet each other to talk about what they want to do here with this third and nine. Zebras cannot stop the clock anymore. They're out of timeouts. 28-23. I remember Peru last year. This Peru team looks nothing no. like that team. This is No, this is a total I turnaround a, for Coach Mikowski and yeah, the Peru Tigers. A massive amount of kudos to him. Uh, this, this group of seniors. And his hat. Yeah. But, and his hat. And his coach, but his coaching, <laughs> his coaching is even better than his hat. Well, you know, this group of seniors, that, you know, they've been together for a long time, and it's, yeah. it's, you know, 
I think this is what the Peru fans thought they would see for a long time out of this group. Right, and right, and you know, yeah. I mean, a lot of these seniors, they were playing varsity as freshmen. I mean, right. they've been. Rutgers a four-year starter. Yeah. Here's Recker, rolls to the near side. He's looking to throw. It's in the air, and it's going to be complete to Ross. Ross is, no, excuse me, that is nine. That's Isaac Beam. Beam catches it inside the 30 near the 29-yard line, and that's a first down, and the Zebras could not stop the clock, and I'm going to guess that the uh, Tigers are going to put it on the, on, the on the field now and just run it, run the clock out. Wow, what a call by Coach Mikowski to put the ball in the air in that situation. He said, trust in your quarterback. Right. I mean, that's a, that's a coach who's saying, we're going we're gonna to win the game. We're not going to yeah. not lose. Right. Rutger out of the shotgun again. Ross next to him. Rutger tucks it this time. He'll keep it. Come to the near side. Rutger across the 30, down near the 25-yard line. And he's going to be tackled by... Brant back and back Parks. Both uh, Parks Beck and Parks and trying back. to strip the ball out of Rutgers' hands as he came down with it. Gain of four, second and six. So gain of four, Rochester ball sitting at the 25-yard line of the Zebras. And again, Zebras can't stop the clock. Ross is hobbled on the sideline. He's kind of yeah, trying to run, run it out, out. I don't know stretch if he's got it out. Charlie horse or a calf or a, just a... Play clock down to 10, and now the Tigers will come to the line. Uh, in for Ross is Corba. Corba next to Rutger on his left. Rutger will keep it. Rutger will dive forward. He'll get back to the 25. It'll bring up third down and six. Clock rolls a minute 45. Third down for the Tigers, third and six. 30 seconds on the play clock remaining. They're going to take it down to just over a minute before they snap this ball. As Matt Rutger running the offense has done a great job here this last possession. If you're Coach Mikowski, do you think about taking a timeout with like one second left on the play clock? I'm guessing he just walked over to the yeah, official, so yeah. there's a good chance that he will. And... He was, he was there at, it is. You know, he had good success at Rushville yeah. uh, and then hadn't been coaching in a while. Tigers or, take their first. That was like 12 years ago. He hadn't, he hadn't <laughs> been a head coach since, but yeah. First time out of the half for the Peru Tigers, and it comes at 1-12. So here we go. Zebras can't stop the clock again. 1-12, third and six. Now, Wrecker up under center. Kind of in that uh, victory formation. He fakes it. Throws it over the top, and it's caught. Touchdown, Tigers. Wow. Touchdown, Tigers. Is that strong? Holy An even gutsier call than the first call. Was that 88 strong? I believe it was. Yeah. Strong with a touchdown. Pass from the quarterback, Matthew Redker. To number 88, Braxton Strong for the Tigers. Touchdown. Six. Points Pretty much Peru. seals the deal for the Tigers on a gutsy third and six call. What was that, 25 pass? 25 around the touchdown. So the PAT coming up now for the Tigers. Leading 34-23. And they've basically gone over the top on the two touchdown yeah. passes. The PAT is no good, partially blocked. And that's where the score will stay, 34-23. Nice, nice play by Brady Beck to get in there. 34-23 for the Tigers with 107 to go here in the fourth quarter. Kickoff right after this on Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. At Peru High School, 107 to go. 34-23, Tigers, that scoring drive brought to you by Rochester Ford. 11 plays, 65 yards. It took four minutes and 55 seconds off the clock. Braxton Strong with a 25-yard touchdown pass from Matt Rutger. PAT was no good, and Peru leads 34-23 with 107 to go. Fervita takes the kickoff. Fervita up to the 40. Fervita then is going to be pushed back as the Zebras will have it now at the 39-yard line, first and 10 with one minute exactly to go, trailing 34-23 here at Peru High School. 
Zebras look to you know, need to score quickly here and get then get an onside kick. Still a minute to go here in the contest. On the insulation guys scoreboard, 34-23. It'll be interesting to see what offensive plays the Zebras decide to do here as they go Dylan Hook split way to the top. Fervita goes in motion. Pollock back to throw. They rush Ross. The throw is going to be short to that Hook is. as Pollock has Second Ross in, in his face. And he had to try to get it up and over, and when he did, it just came up short. Yeah, that was just a good job of by Peru there. I mean, they can just pin their ears back and try to pressure Pollock. Uh, again, the Zebras don't have a lot of experience Second pass blocking, and that's yeah. the problem because you got to throw the ball in this situation. No timeouts remaining, 54.9 seconds to go, trailing 34-23. Pollock again up under center. Pollock, the handoff to Fervita, now to back, back up the middle, back across the 50. Clock will stop for the first down and the, into uh, Tiger territory at the 49. Pollock quickly over to Coach Schaefer to get the play. They'll get the chain set and they'll start the clock, 49 seconds, Zebra's gotta hurry. 34-23 into Tiger territory at the 49-yard line. Dylan Hook to the far side. Fervita goes in motion again. They roll Pollock to throw to Fervita. It's complete. Fervita make the catch at the 20, and he's out of bounds. Stops the clock. They're going to say he's out of bounds at the 22. What a catch by Colton Fervita. Awesome catch by Colton Fervita. That's his first catch of the season. That yeah. might be the first catch of his career. <laughs> Do you recall a catch? I don't recall. There's certainly nothing like that. So the clock stops as he goes out of bounds. 34-23. Zebras have another Steve Moore insurance first down. A gain of 27 on that play. That was, a heck of a, that was a heck of a throw to yeah. by Carson Pollock. Hook comes to this near side now. Clock has stopped because he was out of bounds. Pollock up under center. Pollock looking to throw again. He throws it in the air for a hook and it's knocked down. And the intended receiver was Hook and the defender was Smithers. Good job by Smithers. He positioned himself inside of Hook and he Knocked it down. 22 seconds to go. Zebras will have it second and 10. Clock stops on the incomplete pass. Now, if, you get a, if you get a touchdown here, I think you have to go for two. Oh, definitely. That would cut it to a field goal. And then onside kick and yeah. see what happens. Pollock going to the air again. Throws it up in the air, and it's going to be overthrown. Fervida was the intended receiver. And back deep was Rutger. Yeah. And looks like also maybe Hahn back there. Right. And Peru plays a three-deep yeah. zone. I mean, right. this is – Yep, nothing for They them. know absolutely do not let anything go over <laughs> your head in this situation. Third and ten, 16.5 seconds to go. Tigers trying to stay perfect on the season and in the TRC. Remember, if you get a catch inbounds, the clock, and it's not a first down, don't spike it because right. then you'd be giving them the ball up on downs. Third and 10. Flea Flicker goes to Beck. Beck then is hit at the 20, and that probably will do it. The Zebras can't stop the clock, and the Tigers are going to stay perfect. 6-0, 5-0 in the TRC. The final tonight, 34-23 here from Peru High School. We'll be back with the Tiger Store postgame show after this. Tigers win it again, 34-23. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV 4.
23. We're in the post. Really putting people in the box. They're moving around on the defense. Now here's Pollock up under center. Pollock gives it to Deming. Deming's going to be bent in the backfield, and they're going to lose yards and turn it over on down. Actually, almost Coach Mikowski, right the tackle. offensive coordinator, he calls it, hands it off to Ross. Ross around the right side. Ross is into the end zone. Touchdown. The pitch to him. Now Carson Pollock in trouble, and he's trying to scramble out, and he goes to throw, but he's going to have to tuck it. The ball comes loose. But they're going to call it. In there's the punt, Rutger fakes it. Rutger will go around the right side. Rutger gonna be stopped and as he stretches out, I think he's gonna be about a half. Now here's Pollock up under center. Pollock fakes the handoff to Dim, gives it to Beck. Beck around the left side, Bre breaks some tackles. Beck still on his feet, still going. <laughs> Finally will be pushed out of bounds. Play we end in at right tight end. Here's Pollock. Pollock hands it off to Beck. Beck around the left side. Cuts one middle. He's got one man to beat. Finally going to be tackled. Up under center. Pollock. Puts Beck in motion. Pollock looking to throw. Pollock flushed out of the pocket. Pollock. Ball goes forward. And they're going to rule it. The hold from Pollock. The kick is up. And it is good. The 27-yard field goal for uh, Parker Wallace. 27. Ross, Ross comes to the near side. He's got a hole. Ross is down the sideline. Ross at midfield. Ross at the 40, the 30. Finally going to be tackled, and he is going to go into the end zone. But we do third and goal from the one now for the Tigers. Well, you know it's going to be Ross or Rutger mm -hmm. as they quickly head back to the line. Rutger keeps it this time. Dives over the top. Keeper by the corner. <sighs> the pitch again in the backfield. Comes to the near side. Hit at the 40, still on his feet, breaks the tackle, still across the 35, chopping. You don't want to go this far and not put points on the board. Right. Now, if he get down to the one or the yeah. two, I'm, I mean, that changes things. We're giving grows alongside now Zebra head coach Ron Schaefer. And coach, uh, I know we've talked many a weeks so on uh, the Zebras priding themselves on getting off to an, an early start. And tonight it was not the case. It was kind of a slow start. And I think the Tigers took advantage of that a little bit. Yeah, it is exactly the opposite of the way we wanted things to go to start off with. And um, not a real good job of, of uh, getting our kids prepared. And so, you know, uh, you ask a lot out of them. And, uh, you know, the other teams coached well. Uh, they're very physical. And uh, our kids just weren't ready for that physicality yeah. to start with. And uh, it showed, you know. And, and us, we're trying to figure out exactly – where their weakness is, and, and a lot of times we like that first drive to be long to try to figure yeah. that out and uh, getting, you know, out four and out, not not a good thing. Probably should have punted the ball, but uh, I feel pretty good about our, yeah. our fullback usually getting a yard. So, um, you know, can't fault the effort by the kids. Uh, the coaches coach, and, and, you know, you just we just wanted to um, – you know, wanted a different outcome. Yep. Obviously, uh, the first half, uh, seven to three at halftime. Uh, what are you telling the kids at halftime? Obviously, uh, not a great start, but you're obviously right there in it. Yeah, not a lot of panic. You know, just a few lost opportunities, a few things that we didn't want to give up, um, you know, in our run game. We just did, didn't capitalize very well at times. And, and we can't really overcome very many negative plays or zero-yard plays. And so – uh, you know, it, the field goal was huge from Parker. Parker's been banged up a little bit, and, and he did a good job of kicking the ball tonight. But, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Uh, you go in at 7-3, you know you're kicking off, um, need a stop. I think it just kind of went back and forth there for a while. And, um, you know, they hit – big plays killed us tonight. Yeah. You can't give up big plays. But, uh, you know, we just talked about what we needed to do offensively and defensively. And, um, you know, was, I don't know if I was a fan. I think it was probably a heck of a game to watch. <laughs> it was a great game from up here. Obviously, back and forth, the third and fourth quarters, uh, more scoring, obviously, than, than the first half. is. But Zebras just couldn't quite get a stop. They get an answer. They get the score. Uh, and they come down, and you, you kind of get the first two. Maybe you get a stop, but unfortunately that third down, uh, they find something or just a missed block, something happens, yeah. and they were able to get the first down and keep the drive alive. Yeah, I think after uh, we scored and, and uh, we kicked off, they kind of lined up for an onside kick. We wanted to 
we kicked it deep, right. got him, you know, set up at the 20 and then uh, an 80 yard run. And that, uh, that kind of breaks your back, but to answer it back, right. um, you know, it shows the character that our kids have in, we were able to get back, get a score. I think it was around four minutes or yeah. a little bit less in on the clock. And uh, we had our opportunities, but, man, you know, they're hard to stop for four straight downs. Yeah. And um, if you get that early stop, then they might think about punting, right. you know, in that situation. But uh, – couldn't get there. Colton Furvita, probably one of the better games I've seen him play uh, tonight, and he gets our player of the game and uh, gets a, a huge catch down here on the sideline to keep the uh, keep the drive going. Yeah, you know, he's uh, he's been fighting a little bit through an injury, and, and uh, he ran the ball hard tonight, blocked well. Um, you know, we just, uh, you know, a nice catch down the sideline, like you said. Um, we need more of that from him yeah. for sure. And, and, you know, we talked to the kids in the end zone about, you know, what, what changes now? What, I mean, uh, you're sitting here at four and two, and you're still a pretty darn good football team. Um, you've lost to two three A's. I believe they're both ranked yeah. um, and, and undefeated. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things – Everything we do, we just have to do a little bit better. We got, we've got to coach harder. We got to coach better. Um, we got to come out with a purpose in everything we do. And, and um, you know, I think the kids will react to that challenge. You find yourself now in the same situation you were last year, hoping for a little help. But the, per the big picture is you got to keep moving forward. You can't worry about that. You've got to do what you got to do to stay at that point. Yeah, we still got three big games in our yeah. conference to finish <laughs> up with. And then, um, you know, a heck of a sectional to play in. So, yeah, uh, our focus turns now to Northfield and um, got to get it going back again at home and, and get a win and get back, back rolling. We'll talk more about Northfield tomorrow morning on Coach's Corner. All right, thanks, Randy. Thank you. Ron Schaefer of the Rochester Zebras here in the postgame show. Again, the final on the insulation, guys. Scoreboard 34-23, a tough loss for the Zebras as the Tigers improve to 6-0, and 5-0 and in the TRC. Zebras dropped to 4-2, and 4-1 and in the Three Rivers Conference. That's going to do it from Bingle Memorial Stadium. Again, on the Insulation Guys scoreboard, the final 34-23. Tigers defeat the Zebras. For Steve at RTC and Val and the entire film crew, have a great night, everybody. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Coach's Corner here on Giant FM Sports, and we'll talk to you next Friday night. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV 4.